Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I am going to be doing a love reading for you guys. Let's see what is coming in for Pisces in love, romance, dating, relationships. Let's just see what comes through. Remember the most relevant messages and the ones that the Pisces collective needs the most are the ones that are going to be sort of like coming through the strongest. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If something is not for you, consider it might be for another Pisces, all right? Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of the Pisces Club. Thank you for being a part of the Pisces Marathon happening this weekend. If you would like to be a part of the Pisces Club, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button. And if by any chance you wanna say thank you through donations, you can also join the channel as an active supporter, clicking on the join button, okay? Today, we might have a longer reading. I'm kind of feeling like a longer reading, more detailed. So I'm going to be pulling two cards per every position of the Celtic Cross. Now, this might take a minute, so please be patient with me as I go ahead and set up everything. Pisces in love. Most relevant important messages for Pisces in love. I'm taking only upright cards. I've got the Queen of Pentacles as the main situation alongside the Six of Swords. Crossing, we've got the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. In the recent past, we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon. In your mind space, Pisces, the High Priestess. And the Three of Cups. Near future, the Tower. And the Eight of Pentacles. What the universe wants you to know, the Magician. And the Hand One. Now, let's move on to this part. Let's make some space here. Your Energy, Seven of Cups. And Four of Cups. Your Environment, the Page of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. Hopes and Fears, the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. And last but not least, the most likely outcome we've got here is Justice. And the Six of Wands. Beautiful, you guys. That's amazing. I love it. Alright, so... Let's see. Main energies here. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. This is a reading for Pisces in love, okay? So what does this mean here? I see you, Pisces, perhaps moving on from a Earth sign, maybe. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. The Queen of Pentacles here, if it's another person, it's most likely an Earth sign who is very grounded, tends to be someone who's generous, level-headed, you know, they like routine, and they're kind of like... Um, pretty stable, predictable in some way. It seems as though you are choosing to take your belongings and your most important things or people, company, things that you value most and moving along, moving on. Leaving this person behind, it seems, okay? Now, if that's not the case, maybe right now you are moving away from situations that are harmful for you, situations that have already sort of like... You have outgrown them because you have entered, perhaps, this energy yourself of the Queen of Pentacles in which you are more grounded yourself, more focused on your routine, on your habits, on your financial and professional development, your success, um, maybe the things that, value, that you value most in life. And since you're very grounded, maybe you have this desire to keep moving forward and to leave behind certain things, all right? Now, what is crossing this energy? You've got the Ace of Swords and you've got the Page of Wands. So this could mean that right now, there is an important conversation that needs to be had. There is an important um, sort of like revelation that could be very beneficial for you to have at this time. It, come, it could come in as an idea could come in as a thought, a epiphany, a ha moment, conversation, 
something that clarifies everything. It's a piece of information that maybe right now you don't have. And that as soon as you have, may change everything in love. And we've got the page of wands here. So there could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person here involved perhaps. Um, maybe some of you guys um, recently found out that your earth sign could have been involved with a fire sign and this realization is making you move forward. That goes for some of you, take it if it resonates. For others of you, um, you may be soon discovering something about the nature of someone who interests you. This could be someone from the past, could be this earth sign, or it could be um, someone who you're contemplating a new connection with. This person may be very adventurous, very um, thirsty for life, so to speak, like they really enjoy um, living life to the fullest, okay? So in that realm, this person may have some secrets or things that you just don't know about, about how wild they are, about, about how much fun they have or in which way they choose to have fun. This could be all sorts of things, you know, traveling or addictions or, you know, other relationship. It doesn't have to be something bad, but it's just like you're going to learn something about how wild this person is. Or this person you're dealing with is going to learn about how wild you are, Pisces, okay? And this clarity, this newfound information here might spike some changes, might um, create certain movements, certain change, a certain change. Now, in the recent past, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and you've got the Moon. There seems to be something here in your love life, Pisces, that is meant to be. Someone here that you just feel like there's a deep bond, a deep connection, something that in some way feels different from others. Something that feels destined, kind of like ringing the stars, something that's in the cards for you, literally. <laughs> and But with the moon here, you know, you could be experiencing a lot of foggy energy. It's like there's a very silent little nudge in your soul that tells you that's the right way or this is the person or there's something else here, something important, but you don't understand it. Logically, my cat is scratching away my chair. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like, it's like something that's meant to be, but you don't know the details. You don't really understand exactly why or how this is going to manifest, it's a little bit confusing for you, it seems. Um, because with the moon here, we just don't have all the information. But you do get a sense of something being important here, okay? Um, maybe some of you guys, it's meant to be for you to walk away from an earth sign. Maybe for others of you guys, it's more important for you to focus on yourself and that's what's kind of like destined here. I know that it can, can be, it can be confusing when there are different um, perspectives, you know. It's kind of easier when it's just one storyline and it resonates for the majority. But in this case, I'm seeing a lot of like variable information and I'm trying to get that glow off the table, but I don't know where it's coming from. Oh well. So yeah, you know, just take what resonates. All right. What the universe wants you to know is that you have more power here than you realize. You have more power in your life in general than you realize, but in your romantic... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Tuti, say hi and then leave, okay? This is my baby. Tuti, say hi. <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye. Dude, you're gonna make me have to edit the video. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's like you have more power than you realize, but you perhaps need to take some time in a different perspective in order to find that aha moment or that information that is gonna change everything for you. So think about it, you know? Feel your way through something. There is something that you need to sort of like realize. Something that you have to kind of like put two and two together, you know what I mean? It's like 
something that could be even obvious, something that is right in front of you, but you haven't really seen just yet. In your mindset, Pisces, you could be thinking about another Pisces. You could be thinking um, perhaps that if you're dealing with another Pisces, you could be thinking like, does this person have someone already? Does this person, is this person involved with someone else? Are they, you know, a fuckboy or a party girl? Are they engaging in a lot of like social activities or exchanging all sorts of energies with all, with all sorts of people? Um, you may be feeling a little bit resistant perhaps if you don't have those answers. Maybe that's the kind of information that you need at this time. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. You may be thinking also about third party situations. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with a Pisces. Maybe this is, um, the high priestess could be just referring to your deep connection with the divine and your intuition, uh, making you think about these kind of things. I do sense that some of you guys are going to just choose to be alone and focus on work, focus on your financial situation, professional situation, projects, crafts, passion projects, you know. Some of you guys are going to be like, you know, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable right now to go through with this. You're definitely moving away from something, something or someone. Maybe you recently moved away from a earth sign and you're going to try out something. And in the middle of that trial, you're going to say, you know what? Um, you know, my life perhaps needs my attention a little bit more than the possibility of a relationship. You know, I see you Pisces as... Um, getting a little intimidated perhaps by a connection here that could feel very mysterious, could feel very meant to be. But right now, it's like there's just a lot of confusion perhaps. You know, things are not clear. There seems to be a lot of very foggy, cloudy energy that does not allow you to see through things. There's information missing too. So you're just kind of like, let's see how this plays out. Let's see where this goes, if it goes anywhere. Mm, definitely, there's someone here being rejected. So this could be this person from the past, or it could be the current person. You know, someone here could have offered something, but you're like pissed off. I don't know why. The jacket that she's wearing says over it. And she looks pretty pissed off to me. So she's not really taking this offer. She may be feeling unsatisfied, she may be feeling unmotivated, she may be feeling like she really doesn't want to go through with something. But this could be, as I mentioned, something from the past that you already walked away from. Now, in your environment, you've got the Page of Swords and you've got the Knight of Wands. So there could be someone here who's very um, passionate. This could be a fuckboy energy. I don't like to use that term, but I feel like a lot of people just like get it immediately when I say that. They know exactly what I mean. So kind of like this player energy, very flirty, charismatic, um, you know, sexually driven person, promiscuous person, could be. Um, this person could be spying on you a lot, Pisces. Could be a fire sign, could be an air sign, really it could be any sign. But there's someone here that, that's kind of like keeping tabs on you. They want to come forth. They may be stalking you a little bit. It's very interesting, Pisces, because I feel like some of you guys are looking for a romantic relationship that isn't a real deal. Maybe some of you guys are wishing to get that person like that you can connect with and live with and have children with and create a legacy with. Because the Ten of Pentacles... This card here is not only about legacy and finances, but also legacy in, um, you know, family and the family tree kind of thing. So with the five of swords here too, it's like you want that. But some of you guys feel like, but maybe I should just be having fun right now. You know, like maybe I'm not at that point of my life just yet. Like maybe I just walked away from something. So I should be probably focusing on work more or my intuition, you know, just taking a step back, not aiming for that, because maybe right now I am not in the right energy to get that. Like, if I were to get that, like, would I be able to really 
be in the right energy, be committed, be truly open? Or am I right now in a space in which I just want something lighthearted and something that, you know, doesn't represent all that much to me? Because this is the hopes and the fears. But you also kind of, I feel like you may be having the fear to be perceived as one or the other and be perceived incorrectly by someone. So you may be feeling afraid that you want something really serious and you're being perceived as someone who doesn't. Or that you want something kind of playful and that you're being perceived as someone who wants the whole thing right away. You know, you may be a little confused as as far as like how this other person is perceiving you and honestly what you want. It seems Pisces like you don't really know what you want at this point. Justice and the Six of Wands. Whatever is going on here in, in your love life, you don't need to worry about it at all because all the relevant information will show itself. Okay, all those secrets, all those mysteries, all that intuitively Deep, 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 deep information from your subconscious. You know, everything that needs to come out will. And justice is going to be made for you. Things are going to be balanced out. Everything is going to be working wonderfully in the future. And I say that because you have the six of wands here too. This is a card of victory. This is a card of success. This is the card of success. You know, like overcoming all the obstacles, figuring out how to make something work. Um, maybe thinking about things and finding the right answers within you and yourself and knowing what to do, doing what you need to do, finding justice and finding what you want. Okay, so, you know, basically right now you may be feeling confused, Pisces. Basically, right now you may feel like you don't have um, everything you need to move forward consciously, but you will. Um, in the meantime, as things shift and change... It would be kind of a good idea for you to focus on your craft, focus on what you're doing, focus on what needs to be done as well. I'm going to be pulling one card from the Halloween Oracle to wrap this up because Tuti is pressuring me and staring at me and being very energetically intrusive because he wants to get out of the room. <laughs> but I think he should be able to wait a couple of minutes. Sorry, guys. I have an interesting relationship with my cats. <laughs> but yeah, basically that's what it is. Like, you know, it's okay if you don't have all the answers just yet. You're headed in a good direction anyway. Basically. Okay? So let's see from the Halloween Oracle what is coming through because it is October. And you know that this is an important time for all the witchy, witchy witches out there. So let's see. This is the Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle. In love, universe, in romantic aspects of Pisces life, what does Pisces need to hear right now? Joy. Rejoicing in the present. <laughs> exactly. Rejoicing in the present. So focusing on the moment at hand, trusting that things will come to light, things will um, kind of like sort themselves out in the future. So let's see. All right. So, rejoicing in the present. I stand here. I am where I am. Fully alive and present. Stress is a sham. Besides the who of a not-so-scary trick-or-treating ghost on Halloween evening, one of the most common sounds you'll hear is laughter. There is much joy at Halloween, and it can be one of the most fun nights of the year if we allow it into our lives. We lead busy lives, whether we're studying, run a household, have a demanding job, or, or a demanding cat. Do this. Stop! Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's biting my feet. I'm just going to let him out. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's like cats are so telepathic that when I'm doing the readings, I feel like he's screaming next to me. Even though he's making no noise, he's like energetically like yelling at me. So it's a, it gets a little annoying. Now he's gone and we can do this reading properly. All right. So we lead busy lives. 
whether we are studying, we run a household, have a demanding job, or all of the above at once, it seems there is a little time for us to stop, be present, and enjoy exactly where we are at this time. It has been said that the first step of real change is stopping, and acknowledging that we actually need change. While sometimes we might feel that there is little to feel happy about and much to change, we can always feel grateful for something going right right now, and there is power in that position. It is time to find the joy in this moment, and to find that joy more often. Should this card come up in your divination, it heralds a rival of more happiness and profound joy into life. Is this a good omen? It is a good omen. Actively peak pleasure... Sorry, actively seek pleasure and build more of the things that give you personal joy and laughter in your life. After all, we build in appointments for the dentist. Why not for our own pleasure? I hate the dentist. <laughs> uh, super irrelevant. Anyway, um, so yeah, find the joy. Even if right now you don't have all the answers in love, even if you don't have all the information, you know, Try to find comfortable spaces and moments within the uncertainty, basically. Pisces, um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Know that if it didn't, there's going to be tons of readings posted this weekend as we have the Pisces Marathon. So you can check those out. This is not gonna, this is not going to be the only reading that speaks about love. Okay, so you can check all check blah, blah, check out all of the others, <laughs> and um, let me know. If you have anything you want to share in the comment section, please do. If you want to be a part of this channel, just subscribe to be a part of the Pisces Club. And I'll see you very soon, my lovelies. I love you to the moon and back. Bye.